Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all command and conquer games I found for Java. Red Alert is one of the best strategy games I've played on Java, and hands down that the developers did a great job on this one. Instead of trying to port the PC game, they reinvented the controls and kept the core gameplay. I was surprised to see how good the controls are. You don't have to select a lot of stuff, you just point and shoot. And it works great. Also, they ported plenty of stuff from the PC version. You get tanks, soldiers, nukes, aircrafts, you can hire recruits, build stuff, call air support, it's awesome. Sure, compared to the PC version, it's more bare bones and dumbed down, but for a Java game, I'm impressed. It's solid, and I find the game amazing, especially the controls. And the tense action makes it an amazing game, you should try it out, even if you don't like strategy games in general. This one is worth trying out even if you're not a strategy game fan. The game also has a story told to you via text. You choose from the menu to fight with the Soviet armies for world domination or fight with the American allies to restore global peace. As I said, the game is amazing. Red Alert 2 is a huge disappointment. I don't know if this is the only version or if there is also a higher screen version. Usually the lower screen versions look like a potato and aren't as functional as the higher screen version. But this low screen version is the only game I found and man is it bad. Why would you want to integrate a cursor and select and click mechanics on a phone keyboard? It's a pain to maneuver. Sure, it reminds you of your computer at home, but still, a phone is not a computer. Mechanics like this are a torture. And the game is a torture in general. The game is so clunky and lacks most stuff, I didn't even knew how to progress in the game. Command and Conquer 3, instead of being on the offensive, this time the game is a mix between a building simulator and a tactical defense game. The gameplay is divided into two phases. During the build phase, structures are placed and units are purchased, like construction yards, power plants, barracks, a factory, or a technology center. After buying and placing your stuff comes the combat phase. During this phase, enemy units approach from all sides and try to destroy the player base. Also during this phase, you can control units to defend your base. And the phases alternate. And what I hate about the game is that it makes you drag battles for too long. You need money in the game. After you finish a match, you get some cash. And the cash you get isn't calculated by how well you've played. No, you get cash for how long the battle was. Which means that if you want to have money for the next battles, you have to drag the battle for a lot, which makes the game boring. And without extra cash, structures cannot be repaired and units will not be replaced. As for game modes, it offers again 3 campaigns and a skirmish mode. But don't get excited, because a campaign contains only 4 missions, which means that the whole game is only 12 missions long. Overall, the game is ok as a strategy game for Java, but it does have its flaws. Still, if you prefer a more tower defense type of strategy game that has occasional offensive attack parts, then play this one. But I found the first game, the first red alert game, to be more action packed and better overall. Command & Conquer 4, even if it got really bad reviews on PC, on Java it's ok. It has the same style as the first Red Alert game, you go on assault missions, it has a few mechanics changed, but for the most part it has the same game formula. Still, I found the game less attractive, maybe because I'm not usually a fan of futuristic games. The first one was with Russians and Americans, this one revolves around the war between the Global Defense Initiative, the GDI, and the Brotherhood of Not. On Java, I consider it among the better strategy games, and if you like strategy games, you should definitely check it out.